isa, isa lalo siya namatay, mi otimo adios. Sabi si Mena na yan. Goodbye, Philippines. <laughs> si Karl Marx, si Karl Marx, yung founder ng communism, bago siya namatay, sinabi niya, everything is foolishness. Everything in this world is foolishness. Lahat ng bagay dito sa mundo ay talukohan at walang perta. Okay? Alam ka? Yung last word is ang tao ay nagpapahayag kung anong klaseng tao siya. Kung ikaw ay nasa kay Cristo, of course, yung last word mo ay puro papuri at pasalamat at pagsamba sa Kanya. Amen! Pero kung ikaw, may kinis niyo nun, ang buhay mo, kung ikaw ay nasa kay Jesus, nasa kay Cristo, ay napaka-meaningful at napaka-powerful ang klaseng buhay. Ngunit, kagaya ni Carmax na walang Diyos, sinabi niya, lalo siya naman tayo, ang lahat ng buhay ng bagay dito sa mundo ay walang kaguluhan at kalukuhan. The last word is worth remembering, sabi ko kanina. Ito nga rin yung mga And I tell you, the last word of a person okay, is a kind of authority in the court. It is the regular. Na pag isang tao na malapit na mamatay at mag-witness siya doon sa korte, ay paninunaan siya kaagad ng judge. Bakit? Because of the logic, ang nagsasabi, na ang isang tao malapit ng mamatay, hindi siya pwede mo sinungaling. <laughs> Amen! Sinungaling ka, sabi ng Diyos, di pupunta ka ng impyero mo. Diba? So, <laughs> bago ka mamatay, ano? Dapat honest na honest. So tonight, ito yung pag-usapan natin, yung seven last words ni Jesus, is the complete theology. Pag ito yung hindihan natin, gusto ko malaman mo mga bagay, na the, the seven last words of Jesus at the cross is a complete theology from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. Kaya ito yung napaka-importante. Ilang, ilang, ilang daw na itong last words na ito, ngunit binabalik-balikan na bawat mananang palataya every year. How old is the seven last words of Jesus? Okay, and uh, the bit, you know, right bit? Ilang, 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 ilang taon na ang last words of Jesus, right? Uh-huh, 20 years. Ay, hindi na. 200 years. Hindi. Ilan? Ah, 2,000 years. Woo! Sobrang tagal na pa na ito. It is a 2,000 year old statement. Ngunit, hindi ito mamamatay-matay sa puso at isipan ng every believer. Bakit? Kasi ito'y napaka-importante sa bawat pagsasama. How important it is. The second last word of Jesus is so vital. And it was so important dahil sa nagsalita at nagsabi nito. Sino nagsabi nito? It is the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya lang at sa niya, sa niya sinabi nyo. When He was hanging at the cross. Ito yung napaka-importante dahil pag ito yung intindihan natin, sabi ko kanina, kompleto ang theology nito, and at the same time, it will strengthen our faith. Everybody say, strengthen our faith. Yes. When we understand the seven last words of Jesus, then it will strengthen the faith of the people of God. And it is very important also because not only it is edifying, but at the same time, it can be used as evangelism. Pag ikaw yung mga pang-Kristo sa buhay mo ngayon, this is the time that you have to understand kung sino si Kristo at ano ang kanyang ginawa tuwag sa cross ng Kalbaryo. Amen! So, the seven last words of Jesus is not only for edification, but at the same time, it is also used for evangelism. Everybody say, evangelism. Yes. So, kaya hango na ito, pag wala ang Kristo sa buhay mo, pag i-discuss natin ito, may intindihan mo kung sino si Kristo at anong ginawa niya sa buhay mo. Ano yung mga, mga yung, yung mga sinabi ng aming Panginoon doon sa Diyos ng Garbalyo bago siya namatay? At saan magigita ito? Oh, number one. Okay, ipas mo nga naman. Saan yun? Alright? The seven last words of Jesus. So, ito. This is seven because seven is a number of what? There's a number of God that simply mean what? 
It's a number of God that simply mean perfection and completion. Okay, a eschatological number ito. Huh? Eschatos. Ibig sabihin, this is the, the number for completion. And at the same time, a number for perfection. So number seven is the number of God. Kaya, ito, hindi mo ito. Hindi siya, hindi kanin, hindi lima. Seven last words of Jesus. Because there at the cross, the ones of cross ng Talbagyo, doon kinumpleto ng ating Panginoon ang ating kaligtasan. Para pakalot ang manakas, si Lord, yes! Doon na kinumpleto ang ating kaligtasan. What are those words? Ba't hindi pa na? Okay, sige, pakiflash. Nandiyan yung seven last words. No, wait. Nandiyan mo ba? Na. Okay, so please. Doon sa USB yata, hindi mo na sa iyo. Nandiyan ba? Sa USB yata. Okay ba? No. Okay. Ang palit pala tayo ng mukha dito. Okay. Alright. Nandiyan, tingnan natin. No? Yung seven last words at kung saan, saan yung verse per chapter ng Bible ito makikita. Ay, ilis na nyo na, no? Kasi baka yung Sunday Friday, may seven last words kayo doon sa church ninyo. Hmm. Number one. Wala pa rin. Hindi naman ako. Okay. Alright. Number one is found in Luke chapter 23, 33 to 34. Ano yun? Luke chapter, yun. Luke chapter 23, 33 to 34. Ano to? Was the first word of Jesus of the cross. Basahin natin sa kaya sa bayit. Ready? Go! Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Galina. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. Panginoon, Ama, patawarin mo sila kasi hindi nila alam kung ano ang kanilang ginagawa. That is Luke chapter 23, 33 to 34. The second word of Jesus at the cross while He was hanging there is found in Luke chapter 23, 35 to 43. Ano yun? Ready? Go! Today, you will be with me in paradise. That's the second. Luke 23, 35, 35 to 43. The number three words of Jesus at the cross is, ito na. John chapter 19, 25 to 27. Ready? Go! One, behold my son, behold thy mother. Number four, the sinabi ng Panginoon at the cross is one. Matthew chapter 27, 45 to 49, ready, go. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In Hebrew, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabachthani. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The fifth word of Jesus the cross is found in John chapter 19. Okay, John chapter 19, 28 to 30. I thirst. Inuuhaw ako. And then, in number 6, John 19, verse 30, it is finished. And the last word of Jesus before he died, he needs an argument. Father, into the hands I commit my spirit. Luke chapter 23, verse 46. You and three go sinabi ng ating Panginoon doon sa cross ng Baba. We will discuss this one by one as what I told you the Jensen kanina hanggang tatlo ng tatlo. Okay? So may utang ako this coming Friday na akal pa. Sa atin, that's what you said, kung hindi natin natapos, kung kung tatlo ang matapos natin, tandaan nyo, next year, apat, hindi dito sa Sunday natin. <laughs> it's a discounting Sunday, right? Hindi na tayo pwede mag-discuss yan. Bakit? Discounting Sunday is about what? It's about the, the glorious resurrection of Jesus. It's about the, the glorious celebration. Everybody says celebration! Okay. But the camps in the mountain, the nation that did he know that he began, but at the three days he what? He arose again from the grave. And he is alive. Everybody say, alive. Our God is alive. And yet, we're going to talk the Sunday Sunday. So today, we're going to talk about the Sunday Sunday. Because it's about 7 o'clock. Okay.